Hi. Thank you for joining Pioneer. My name is Aaron Pence. I'm from the Norman Central Library. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me today. What we're going to work on now for our Scratch project, we've already made our word, and we've made our first letter dance. Now we're going to see how to make the other letters dance inside your Scratch project. You should see your word, and you should be able to click the green flag and have something happen. Super, super cool. But only one thing is happening. Only that one letter is moving. No matter how many times I click this green flag, only one thing is moving. Well, remember what I told you. Scratch is very specific. All computer programming languages are very specific. And whenever you tell them to do something, that's the only instructions they have. If you don't tell it to do something, it has no idea how to do any of the rest of it. So here's how we give instructions to the rest of it. The way this had worked last time is I had my O selected. Whenever I had clicked to add my letters, it had added an H and an E and an L and an L and an O. The last letter I added was the O. So the O remained selected down in my sprites area in the bottom right. It's kind of hidden by the add a sprite button, but you can see it if you look carefully. See the little O right there? That O is highlighted in blue. If I click on the other letters, they become highlighted in blue, and you notice my script over here on the left disappears. That's because there's no script for those letters. If I click on the O, the script comes back. It has a script. So what we need to do is we need to click on the other letters to add a script for them. I want you please to click on your first letter. Mine's an H. You may have already done your first letter, in which case I want you to do your second letter or whichever. And we're going to build this same sort of script four more times. You may have more or fewer letters, that's okay. But what we really want is for every letter in our word to be moving when we're done. We want to click the green flag and have the entire word move around. So I'm going to repeat this process four different times with a slight change each time in between. The first thing I want you to do is click on events and bring over Bring over, grab, a when green flag clicked button. You're going to click and hold and drag it over into your scripting area. Next, I want you to go to control and bring over, grab, a forever loop and snap it into the when green flag clicked button. After that, I'm going to go to motion. Now in this case, you can go to any blocks in here that you want to try out. They're all interesting. Some of them will do almost or exactly nothing in this case, but some of them will do some very interesting things. If you put in point in direction 90, for example, nothing will happen. Watch, if I click my green flag and run it, my O spins around wildly, excitingly, and my H does nothing. My H is actually doing stuff. It is constantly pointing in direction 90. It is constantly pointing over to the right side of the screen. That's just not very interesting because it keeps pointing there over and over. I'm going to click the stop sign next to the flag. That's how I keep stopping these scripts when I don't want them to run for a second. And whenever I'm doing my coding in Scratch, I always stop my program in between making changes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw away this block. It wasn't very interesting. Don't like it. I'm going to change it. You can click and hold on the block and pull it away. And if you drag it back over onto the left where it came from, you can let go and it disappears. That's how you throw away a block in Scratch. You drag it back to the bank of blocks on the left. Now I'm going to try go to random position. Let's see what that does if I click the green flag. It did something. Ah! Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to leave the H where it is. I really like that, actually. Whenever I spin the O and have the H dance around everywhere, I think that's pretty fun. I think I'll leave it that way. So next, I need to build my script for the E. So I click on the E down in my script area. And then I'm going to go to Events, bring over a When Green Flag Clicked. I'm going to go to Control, bring over a Forever Loop. I'll go back to motion. I think this time I'm going to add a couple of different blocks. You can stack blocks together in Scratch inside and outside of loops. It's great. It's a super good way to build your scripts. Most scripts have more than one or two blocks in them. So I think what I'll do in this case is I'm going to have my E move. But I don't want it to just move, because if I have it just move, it's going to go run into the edge of the screen and stop there. Watch what happens. If I click go, my E goes over to the right, but then it just sits there. That's not very interesting. If I want it to move anymore, I have to click it and bring it back, 
and then click the green flag, and there it goes. And I have to keep doing that. Remember, I don't want to do all that work. That's why I have a computer for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down in the motion blocks. I know just which block I want here. This is a block I use all the time. And most of the way down in the motion blocks, you'll see if on edge, bounce. I'm going to grab that block and put that into my forever loop too. And now watch what happens. If I click the green flag, do you see my E bouncing back and forth across the screen? Isn't that great? Just what I wanted. I don't want it to stop. I want it to keep moving over and over and over. And if I let it drive into the edge, it will just stop there. But the if on edge bounce block helps. Also notice that I've got two blocks stuck together in my loop here. Move 10 steps and if on edge bounce. Great, got it to work. Let's stop our script. We have two more letters to make dance. I'll make my first L dance here. There's a block up here that I think is very fun. It is the glide one second block. You can make it glide to specific positions or you can make it glide to just a random spot on the screen. I think that's where we'll start is by just using the glide one seconds to random position block. So remember, go to events, get your green flag clicked block, go to control, bring out a forever block, go back to motion, Grab the glide one seconds to random position block, put it in there, and click the green flag. And now my L is bouncing wildly around the screen. Great, maybe not as wild as the H, but still a little bit wacky. The last block we need to change is the L. You have a lot of options here. Remember, I'm just picking stuff sort of at random, and you don't have to pick the same ones I'm picking. If you want to make your H spin around and you want your O to get big and small and all that, you go right ahead and do it. I think that's a great idea. I'm just picking some easy ones that are good blocks to start with. I would encourage you to spend some time after this video exploring what the different blocks do. Some of them do nothing. Some of them do a lot. But for my last L, I'm going to click on my L right here. I'm going to go to events, I'm going to bring out when green flag clicked, I'm going to go to control, I'm going to bring out forever, and let's go back to motion, and I think that in this case, I'm going to have it go to, but I'm going to change this block, this is cool. Bring out the go to random position block and set it inside the forever loop. After that, if you just click go, the program will run and your L will spin around and it'll go exactly like the H is going. It won't go to the same spots, but it'll bounce around just as wildly. But notice that this random position part of the block looks different. You see that's sort of a little darker bubble with an arrow? That means you can change it. You don't have to leave it sitting that way. If you click the arrow under random position, you can change this to mouse pointer. You can change it to a lot of stuff, but we can change it to mouse pointer. Watch what happens now if I click the green flag. You're not going to see anything at first. The L is going to dart into the corner because it's trying to get to my mouse pointer and it's trying to get there over and over and over again. But as I move my mouse around, watch what this L does. It follows me. So I can make it loop around the O for a minute or I can make it follow the E. Whoa, dodge him! Or I can make it bounce around like the H, whatever I want it to do because I'm the one controlling it. I told it to follow my mouse pointer forever and ever and ever. Pretty cool, huh? So there you go. You have made your word dance around. That's great work. Please, go explore. There's a lot of cool stuff inside Scratch that'll help your word dance around in more interesting ways. The next thing we'll do is we'll learn how to reset our word to get it back exactly where we want it to start out so it just says hello. And then after that, you get to make your own dance party. Thanks a lot. See you soon.